Hey there everyone, today we are back at Hollywood Studios since there's some new park updates regarding Lightning Queen's Racing Academy, a new single rider line at Resistance, and more. So I thought today we'd hang out at Hollywood Studios, ride some rides, and have a fun day. So let's go ahead and have a great day adventure. Now, right beside Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower Tower, there is a little show at Sunset Showcase called Lightning Queen's Racing Academy, where Lightning Queen and his friends teach you all the things you need to know about racing until Chick Hicks hacks his way in the system and has a rematch with Lightning Queen to see who is best. So, we're gonna go ahead and watch the show for our final time. And now, the car champion you've all been waiting for. because I had a great teacher, Doc Hudson. That's why I started this racing academy, so I could pay that forward to all of you. Well, I hacked into your silly simulator so I could race you and finally prove who's the best race car. Me or me? Ah, come on, leave the rookies out of this. I knew you were afraid to race me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you rookies think? Should we race this guy? Yeah, you can beat him. Three, two, one. I am not the target demographic for the show. This is a kids and family show where if you're outside of that and you're not a big fan of cars, then I don't think you'll like it as much as people who do like cars. Although, really with this show, it's had to see it go. However, I'm excited for the villain show coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios next summer. So I think right now, I thought since it's raining, we're gonna go ahead and maybe go on Rock and Roll Coaster, since I haven't done that in a while. Outside, there is Cruz Ramirez with the Piston Cup, and there's also a DJ playing music. There's also a gate where there's a message saying, I crossed the finish line at Lightning Queens Racing Academy for a photo op. And for the sake of documentation, there's also some signs of the Piston Cup, artwork of Lightning McQueen, and a sign with the 95 and Lightning Queen's lightning bolts. All right, so we were just gonna try and head over to Rock and Roll Coaster. Single Rider Line is currently closed because the line is way too long at the moment. So wait for this traction is 55 minutes. We're gonna skip it. <laughs> All right, so at the moment, Tower Tower is a 50 minute wait. Every ride at Hollywood Studios is a 50 minute wait, so. I don't know. I wanted to see how long this was, mainly because it's Tire Tire, an incredible attraction. All right, I was hoping it would be maybe a bit shorter. However, it is currently nearby the gate, so nope, I'm good. <laughs> so I think for now, 
maybe we could head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge since I heard there's a new single rider line that just reopened at Rise Resistance. So let's go ahead and head over there. And we're now here at Star Wars Ride of Resistance. This is one of the most popular rides at Disney World. And recently they did a test with Single Rider Line and it's bypassed all the pre-shows. In this case though, they now return Single Rider Line and you now go through pre-shows. I wonder to see how long it would take. So how about we go ahead and do the Single Rider Line. Now all you need to do is head down that ramp and we have the single rider line right here this is so interesting i mean i've never done the single rider line here for rider resistance and it looks like we're going to be stopping here and now we just went through a backstage area and i believe we're heading into our first pre-show room up next oh yep recruits thank you for joining the course a covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. So far it's been 12 minutes while we're in line and we just bypass the first room and the pre-show. Tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed. Online mark. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We have company. First order TIE fighters. We will. We will. Red 2, Blue 5, we got a clear path, so transport can make a jump. Blue 5, Red 2, Blue 5, Resistance five. This ship is now under the command of the first order. You'll exit it, head down the hallway for processing and interrogation. Follow these lieutenants. Let's go. Do not separate. You all will be We're now on the left side of the queue right now. It has only been 16 minutes since we've been single airline. So far, everything's been smooth at this point. Enemies of the first order. We will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. And the 
resistance. <laughs> done with ride resistance with the single ride line in total while it was a 55 minute wait posted for standby it was 25 minutes in total for the single ride line including the pre-shows i definitely say this is worth doing if you want to bypass the regular line especially since you're not really missing much you still get the full story and you're not missing the pre-shows at all so I would say if you still want a full experience yet you want to bypass the long standby wait then I definitely recommend doing the single ride line. I think it's a great alternative and I hope they still have this for a long time. And hopefully they keep the single ride line since I definitely do single ride line again. I think right now we'll go ahead and see what else we're going to be doing today. Now I think we're going to go try and see if Rock and Roller Coaster has a single rider line open. Right now it's a 45 mile wait. I don't think we're gonna wait and stay on my line. However, if the single rider line is open, then yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> All right, good news. Single rider line is back open. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do Rock and Roller Coaster for our final ride of the day. rock and roller coaster in total it took us around a half an hour and i think it was a very fun ride a bit rough because of how old it is although the rock and roller coaster i enjoy it this time i think it was a lot better than my last two rides and i think that's gonna be a wrap on our adventure here at hollywood studios i had a fun time despite the rain we got to do lightning mcqueen's racing academy for one last time Got to ride a few rides such as Rise of the Resistance and Rock and Roller Coaster. But let me know in the comments, are you going to miss Slayton Queen's Racing Academy? I'd love to know. If you want to help support the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and follow for more. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.